you've done your 3D edit, what do you do with it afterwards? You know, what's the point of doing an edit if nobody can watch it? One of the obvious options is to make a 3D Blu-ray disc. Now, an actual pucker 3D Blu-ray disc basically can only be done in one of two different sizes. You can either do 19, 20, 1080, 24 frames a second, or you can do 720p at 50 frames a second. Now, EDS has not been able to do 720, 50p discs for ages, and that hasn't changed yet in EDS 3D, but it can do 24p discs. Now at the moment with EDS 3D we can't make a full quality 3D disc, we're hoping that will come in a future update but we don't know whether that will be there or not. Again this is a preview version so there's a lot of stuff in here, some of it's not quite finished and we're hoping some more stuff's going to be added. My footage here is 19, 20, 10, 80, 50i footage. So if I was trying to make a full quality Blu-ray disc, I'd have to be in a totally different project. What can I do with it in this project? Well, go up to the old burnt disc. And when I'm exporting, let's just go and look at the particular title. I can pop down here and I can choose my stereoscopic mode. Now at the moment, like I said, I can't do full quality, but I can do all these other ones. So for example, I can do side by side. Set that and it'll make up a disc, pop it into a Blu-ray player, click side by side on the TV and you'll be watching a 3D Blu-ray disc made out of EDIUS. You'll have menus with it, everything else that EDIUS' DVD writing can do. You could do an anaglyph, which is one of these red and blue glasses jobbies. And you could even just say left eye or right eye, so you just produce a mono one. And what I might do is I'll produce a Blu-ray disc and I'll put one version of the timeline on, which is left only, another version of the timeline on, which is in side by side. So people then have the option of watching the movie in 2D or 3D. Another thing I can do is produce a file. So let's go to print to file. And you'll notice you've got all the regular exporting options that you get with EDIUS. But specifically under the H.264 exporting, there's an ordinary Blu-ray one and there's a Blu-ray 3D version. Now your ordinary Blu-ray one lets you do side-by-side, -side, anaglyph, all the other stuff that we were just talking about. But if you choose Blu-ray 3D, it lets you do a full quality file with both the left and the right eye in the same stream. This is exactly the same footage that is produced by the Sony TD10 camera that I'm using or the Panasonic 1000 camera. At this point you're making up a file and you're going to have to stick it onto a Blu-ray disc with something else, but it can actually export it in that format. Of course another option is I want to stick it onto YouTube. Well YouTube uses red and blue glasses. So in this case I'll probably want to choose H.264 and Anaglyph and that'll produce an mp4 file for me that I can whack up onto YouTube and then people with the right colored glasses can watch it in 3D. So it's got good output options all built in. If you're using this kind of thing, that's exactly the sort of thing that will be sped up by the Intel QuickSync, which you'll find in the latest processors. Watch our QuickSync video if you want to know more about that. So it means that it will actually knock it up very fast compared to every other program. The only thing it doesn't do at the moment is a full quality Blu-ray disc. The only program we've got which is a reasonable price that can do that is Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas 11 will let you make up a full quality 3D Blu-ray disc either at 24p or 72050p. It won't do it with menus but it'll actually do it very well at a, as a standard disc and we're hoping that's going to come into EDIUS 3D in a future version. Other than that, you can take that file, stick it into another program and then burn it with that. Unfortunately, all the programs, apart from Vegas, which do full quality Blu-ray discs, are actually very, very expensive. So EDIUS 3D basically does 3D very well. We're looking forward to the final version and seeing what's in it completely, but it basically does a very good job of stereo editing.